Hey, how's it going? Tonight, before my melatonin kicks in, I'm going to do, yes, another craftivity. <laughs> so here I have pieces of paper that have weird cuts to them, and what did I use? I know you're asking. You're just itching to know. I used these wonderful designer pinking shears, I guess. Designer cut scissors, I guess. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> what are they called? But they have all these designs. It's really cool. Now, you might be asking, how come you don't know anything? You don't know what anything's called. It's because I have proper noun disorder. I can't remember the names of people, places, or things. Or ideas. Remember that. Or locations. Or anything. <laughs> the names of anything I have problems with. I've always had that learning disability. Always. Okay, moving on. So the one I'm gonna I'm gonna do the cuts on camera, and I'm going to use this one mostly because I'm gonna cut these out here and probably cut this little white strip off here, and then I just only need to cut this, and the video won't take so long. I hope. Well, if I fall asleep, <laughs> okay. I really did take my melatonin today. Also, I have these these papers here, but I'm not going to cut all these on camera. I know you're bummed, I know it, but I I I picked them out of my big book of 360 pages of designer scrapbook paper and just for the purpose of cutting them apart with these scissors these scissors. <laughs> or I have to get my last craftivity out of the way. Okay, so I just uh, did these and I'm going to put them back in their little container. I'll show you that little container. I just finished part one and part of part two for doing these things. These, uh... <laughs> oh, the other one is drying, so... Uh, while that's drying, I'm going to do the scissor cutting thing. What is this going to be called? Who knows? Ooh, sorry about that loud. This is that plastic, loud, noisy plastic. I apologize for making that noise. Oh, I don't even need the parchment paper. I'm to get that out of the way. Sorry for the crinkles there. Oh wait, I told myself I wasn't going to apologize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on Monday, to help me stay focused during a meeting, I cut up paper, and the paper I, I cut up is one of these sheets. I cut out the butterflies, and then I crinkle cut all the, like crinkle cut fries, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> And I cut them up so that I could pay attention to what the speaker was saying. I'm losing my parchment paper. Not mind. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, so then what I did was I had all these in the bag. And the meeting puts everybody on mute, which is a blessing. A blessing. <laughs> because I was pulling these out and cutting in different shapes. Okay, so I want... I kind of want a smaller design, so I'm going to put pull some of these out. Okay, let's try this one. Okay. Some of these work really well, very smoothly, and others are kind of like, I don't know that one. <laughs> like that. All right, I'm still looking. Well, that's not too bad. We'll try that one. Not too loud. So some are kind of loud and some are not as loud. That one's relatively quiet. ASMR? <laughs> I don't know. But let's do it. Oh, the first thing, I, I want to get this off. And I don't want to use a crinkle, crinkle cutter with that. I want to use this one on camera. Let's see how... Street, I can make this. I was trying to cut it like wrapping paper where you just slide the scissor. You don't go like this, you just slide it up. 
right? You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, I don't need this to be exactly 12 by 12. So, I'm very living on the edge here because I'm thinking, oh, that's the wrong way to cut it. You can't see where your leaves are. Now, I'm going to set that aside and fussy cut those later. I will not fussy cut on camera. Well, not those, anyway. Ooh, that is right to the edge. That's tricky. I really didn't have this problem yet. <laughs> yesterday morning when I was cutting, but I wasn't cutting big swatches there. So, I will be fussy cutting those. Okay, now, I already have, as you can see, the design for this one. So I'm going to put that aside. And we're done with that one. And now I'm just going to grab and try and show you. I am not doing... Do you want to see the design? Oh, there's not that much of a design. And I'm going to just do this. See how they get stuck sometimes? I get stuck a little bit. Maybe I'm pulling back too far or something. That's very disturbing. <laughs> Come on, why do you do that? Okay. That's a problem with these. I want to go all the way to the back. to do a little investigating and see maybe they're too tight or something. Maybe I can take off the buttons. I don't know. I don't know. I'll do it later. Okay. This one is this design. So I discovered that if I do... Oh yeah, that one cuts really nice. If I just do this, Right. Go around the paper. And yes, I would probably encounter some stuck scissors. This is this one. And make little cuts and big cuts. Then what I can do is with other scissors crinkly cut scissors, I can cut across those those already cut strips. And, uh -oh. Don't put the paper on the mat because you won't get it off. Okay. Ooh. Can you see? Can you see the different cuts? Oh, that's way better, right? Yeah, you can see the different cuts there. <laughs> I should probably do it like that. Except if I do it with the white showing, then my camera will, I don't know. My camera doesn't like when I show white paper on the screen. Because then it goes blurry, I've noticed. What was I doing? I'm gonna cut across. <gasps> my first one. My first shape, are you excited? <laughs> You know, I adjusted the screen panel lighting, the back lighting, I guess it is. Oh, let's see now what's in. I'm like pulling a, <laughs> a dead leaf off a plant and it just doesn't come. It just don't, don't cut it. Don't, don't pull it. Can we do it? Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Let's 
gonna do that one. Alright. Next scissors. Oh, that'll be cool. Can I pull this one? I can. Some I can cut, some I can pull. Now these are, I'm cutting these specifically for gluing like collage style. I'm gonna cut some of these up here. And I just got done with part, well not totally done, but um, like I said, I did these Monday with that one piece of paper or that one design. Oh, look at that. I also want to make some smaller ones, smaller shapes. Monday when I did this, Monday morning when I did this, I was... What was I doing? Oh, other than listening to the meeting. I was first using the regular scissors, and I thought, no, I don't want to do the just the regular cut. Let me try the fancy cuts. Ooh. That's like torn paper. And very loud. <laughs> okay, now the bad thing about these scissors... That's one of the bad things about these scissors. Is that it doesn't go all the way across. So you have to do shortcuts. If you don't mind doing shortcuts, then these are the scissors for you. I'm do some inner cuts there. I forget how many there are in this set. <clears throat> a lot. <laughs> a lot in this set. Oh. Let's see if I can do this. I didn't show you this design. Whew. Hanging on by out something. That's also seemingly like a paper paper tear. Okay, so why am I not tearing these, you know, because a lot of people tear their pieces of paper and then they slap them on a, a page, they glue them down, but I don't want, for these small pieces, I don't want to just tear them because these are white underneath, so I'm going to get a lot of white edges when I tear them. And I don't, they're too small for me. Maybe I don't have the patience. I don't know what that is. What's patience? Oh, I have a lot of patience normally. But not for these tiny pieces to just go ahead and distress them all. Now, I suppose I could color the back of the page, but I don't want to do that either. Now, I did place an order with Amazon. Can you believe it? <laughs> for... Colored paper, decorative paper, and how cut it here? Uh, that's double sided. I think color box by color box, like a pad of fifty sheets. Okay, this one is that piece on. Where am I going with this? Oh no, I can't lift it up. Wait, this looks like a funky lizard or something. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, hang it on. Hang it on. Hang on. There we go. And that little piece is important. So I want to try, when I get those papers, I will try and tear them and see if that's a good way to tell if if there's a layer of colored paper and a layer of white paper 
this one, there's a layer of colored paper and a layer of white paper under it. And that I discovered when I was doing the... Oh, we got one more in here. This design. I discovered that when I was doing the faux leather paper book covers. And I got some glue on, on the design side. And my finger was, my finger had glue on it. And I went like this and I pulled off <laughs> the color side. And I'm like, hey, that's not right. It should be, <laughs> I guess it should be white underneath since there's white underneath this paper. The back is white. Who knew? I'm going to have to grab another pair of scissors from the mix. That's a little ragged there. Just a little. Okay, now I'm going to grab from the bottom here. Try not to make a lot of noise. Let's say maybe this one. Take some shorter cuts. I'm very far away, way down here. I do have my camera. <clears throat> I do have my camera kind of far away or set up higher than I normally do. It's a lesson. In, it's it's a. I don't know what it's a lesson in. It's just a. It's. I'm constantly trying to set up the camera in the most perfect way. I can't leave it out because the cat will chew the cord and the camera. <laughs> I don't want that. I like my camera. I'm going to finish off with this pair. Cut away. Some little pieces. So that's how you cut up scrap paper. And with crinkly cuts with designer scissors here. And I need the designs up, please. Oh, yeah, that works. Get the zip it bag out of the way. Okay. Are you ready? Ready to smile? You can smile as you say, say crafty. <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Okay, say crafty. Thank you for joining me today. Nice short, shortish video there. It's on the, uh, oh, I have to activate, deactivate that word. Uh, 20 ish minutes, 21 minutes, I think. So, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And let me tell you what kind of day to have. Check out that. Have a beautiful day. So, that's all I got for you. Bye.